Good morning to you all, or good day, whatever it is where you are. This is a quick morning flow and meditation for busy people. That means it's going to be short, it's going to be sweet and precise. You can do this in the morning or in the middle of the day if you just want to move and ground yourself and just feel better, stretch yourself out, and all these good things. So, Let's start immediately and not lose time. Come to the front of your mat and exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Feet hip width apart and come into Malasana, opening up with your elbows, the insides of your legs. Feel how it feels to arrive at your mat. Bend forward here, just a nice, easy stretch, especially in the morning, we're tighter. Loosen up your neck, and then if you feel like it, you can open up, twist to one side, and stretch out to the other side. Come to the middle again, Malasana. And rise up, lift up your arms all the way overhead, stretch up, exhale, slowly hands to your side. Again, deep inhale, big stretch up, hands in front of your heart and squat down, Malasana. Inhale, rise up, lift up your arms. Exhale, hands to your side. Again, lift up your arms all the way up, stretch up, and hands in front of your heart, Malasana. Hands down on the floor, step back into a downward facing dog and walk your dog. Just stretching one leg, opening up the calf, the hamstrings, and then the other side. And then bending both knees, deep stretch in your back, really lengthening out your back. Press back with your shoulder, and then lift up the right leg to the sky. Don't open up your hips, stay leveled. Stretch out, and then open up the knee to the sky, open up the hip a little bit. And then draw the knee into your chest. Move the weight forward onto your hands and stretch back, three-legged dog. Again, move forward, knee into your chest, and three-legged dog. Again, and now twist over to the opposite elbow and then stretch back. Engage that core, open up that hip one more time. And then step through into high lunge, squaring out your hips, and maybe stretching out the arms overhead. Look up. Come into warrior two. And then place your hands down on the floor, skandasana. The left leg is straight, the other one is bent, and then maybe add a twist if that feels good to you. Placing both hands on the floor, come back into a low lunge with the knee still lifted off. You can sway back and forth and come back through a vinyasa. On your knees maybe, glide through into a cobra pose and stretch back into child's pose and into a downward facing dog. And then lift up your left leg, open up the hip, stay square with your arms and stretch that leg straight. Then draw the knee into your chest and straighten it up again. Draw it into your chest and straighten it. And now come across left leg towards the right elbow and then straighten it out again open up the hip 
and then slowly step forward high lunge maybe you're ready to lift up your hands over your head up to the sky or have them in front of your heart and then open up into warrior two really engage your core here and then come into malasana this time is the left leg that is straight and maybe you add a twist in the skandasana hands in front of your heart and come back to the front we move through another vinyasa and maybe you're ready to go through chaturanga or you place your knees down however you feel like and then glide through into cobra or upward facing dog stay here stay here and then come back into a downward facing dog right leg lifts up open up that hip and place it down we come into wild thing so really stretch out your arm and i like to circle my arm around big circle to loosen and open up the shoulder if you want to skip that and stay in the wild thing and in the pose you can do that as well come into side plank from here and maybe you grab your toe and lift it up but you can stay in a simple side plank as well and then place the right leg to the front low lunge with the knee lifted and then you place the knee down come up lift up your arms and i like to have a side body stretch this opens up my um, my psoas muscle so much i really enjoy it i hope you do too and then come into half hanumanas and a half splits move forward again low lunge and step back let's move through another vinyasa first hold plank and then maybe you want to put down your knees eight point vinyasa come through cobra hold it here and then into a downward facing dog really breathing deeply here right away left leg lifts up to the sky opening up the hip and then coming into a wild thing you can stay stationary or you can start big circles just opening up that shoulder and loosening up any kind of tensions from here let's come into a side plank simple side plank or come into fallen tree and then maybe grab that toe and straighten up the leg placing that left leg to the front low lunge rise up with your arms a little back bend here and then maybe a side body stretch lateral stretch feels so good stay low and then placing your hands down again and into half splits half hanumanasana deep breathing here move forward again step back both legs come into a plank hold the plank and then eight point vinyasa or chaturanga however you feel like and i'm going to come into worm so i have my chin down and lift up my feet off the floor and have my hands interlaced behind my back really opening up my shoulders be careful and then come into cobra pose upward facing dog from here if you'd like to open up further and into a downward facing dog deep breaths just letting everything go and then shift your weight forward onto your hands step forward and come into a seated position 
one foot in front of the other if you'd like to sit on your feet or have a meditation pillow you can do that as well we come into bakasana butterfly pose and i like to butterfly my legs it makes my hips open up further and then maybe come into a forward fold and if you're ready you can fold all the way down with the hands extended forward deep breath enjoying the pose lift up your head cross one leg over the other and come into a seated twist just a simple twist nothing fancy here keeping you back really straight Whenever every inhale you lift up straight and every exhale you relax into the pose and let's just do the opposite stretch to the other side and let's switch legs and it doesn't matter which which leg starts you do both sides back straight breathing deeply enjoying the twist the release and opposite stretch. Now both feet to the front, one leg in front of the other. And we're going to come into just a short meditation. You can do Shavasana if you'd like, but it's in the morning. So I'd like to sit and do a meditation. This is a prayer by St. Therese of Avila. How is it, God, that you have given me this hectic, busy life when I have so little time to enjoy your presence? Through the day, people are waiting to speak with me, and even at meals, I have to continue talking to people about their needs and problems. During sleep itself, I'm still thinking and dreaming about the multitude of concerns that surround me. I do all this not for my own sake, but for yours. To me, my present pattern of life is a torment. I only hope that for you it is truly a sacrifice of love. I know that you're constantly beside me, yet I'm usually so busy that I ignore you. If you want me to remain so busy, please force me to think about and love you even in the midst of such hectic activities. If you do not want me to so busy, please release me from it, showing others how they can take over my responsibilities. Amen. Slowly open up your eyes, lift up your arms straight to the sky and then come into a seated twist one more time, easy twist, lift up your arms, inhale, exhale, twist to the other side, inhale, lift up your arms, exhale, twist again to the other side, inhale one more time, lift up your arms, Exhale to the other side. Well, God bless you. I hope this practice was blessing to you. Keep peaceful.